president is saying that he's doing everything to make sure that the election holds. Is there, is there a chance that it's a third term somewhere? Not Buhari out of third term. Buhari cannot even, we are, he has not even for, uh, finished this second term where we have uh, a security pandemic. Buhari cannot rule beyond 2023. So he should not attempt to do it. He should not take the step. He not, he, he's a good man. He won't think about it. He's even tired now. An Amber election, the date is, is dicey. It, there will be explosive, there will be gunshot, there will be, re there will be so many things. That's one. Two, hope is Odema should leave the government seat. The, leave him more. The hope is Odema of uh, Imu State. I'm saying it as the Lord said. What the Lord has spoken to me is that we should declare September 28, 2030 of September to 1st of October, right? Four days as a very serious national prayers, both Christian and Muslims. Then, is, is there going to be any point where you personally would probably think of relocating from Nigeria? Me, I can't relocate. This is my country. This is where I'm going to die. I'm not going to anywhere. I will stay here, make it in Nigeria, die in Nigeria, buried in Nigeria. A lot of things have been happening in Nigeria for the past few months kidnappings, killings, assassinations. Uh, from the spiritual point of view, what do you think could be wrong? What is wrong exactly in clear terms? Thank you so much. Uh, before the Buhari second term, I say to the whole Nigerians that Buhari second term will not be palatable. That will be a, a bitter moment for the nation. I said it precisely that there will be killings, kidnapping. We go on, on high rampage, and uh, which have come to pass. Even uh, uh, political assassination. You know, when you kidnap, it's different from when you have political assassination. And it's very rare to have a political assassination in a country like Nigeria. But all of this, God has spoken to me about last year. Before we, last year we, we did this book, which is going to, uh, 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 it's an outgoing book of One is to the Nation 2020-2021, precisely at the page one, where we said there will be kidnapping, political assassination, that to be at the high rate. And there will be a lot of sudden death. And uh, was, the book says a lot about what and what is happening in Nigeria at the, at the moment. What really happens is that um, wrong ends are ruling Nigeria. And the wrong ends that are ruling Nigeria, we have not realized the fact that the president is not in total control, so said by the Lord Almighty, not by me. And uh, besides this, is to collapse this government. And the government have not really seen it to be serious. If it goes all the way like this, APC may lose power, will lose power, 2023, if they are not conscious, if they are not doing the right thing. This is exactly what happens when uh, God wanted to remove PDP in power. And I believe that P APC are not conscious of the fact that there are a lot of things that are wrong in the villa. There is a, a lot of things that is wrong with the, with the ants that are controlling Nigeria. There are some hidden things that the government needs to tell the world that they have not told the world. Buhari is intact as a president. He's not clone. He's a real Buhari they voted for. There are bundle of lies that have been cooked in respect of what is going on in Villa. And the cost, the Villa is not getting it right. That's why we are seeing all of this. And the kidnapping, the assassination, and what have you, is political. It's the politicians that are causing what the problem is at the moment. So until the politicians come out and, and, and take caution, if not, Nigeria is going to an exploding stage. I'm speaking as a prophet of God, not as a pastor or bishop or reverend. And I'm speaking the heart of God, all what God has said to me about the purpose and reason for this kidnapping is because of the wrong hands that are doing wrong things and the politicians 
that wanted to bring Buhari's government down. So unless we, the government take the right step and do what is needful and, uh, and, and prepare for better election 2023, otherwise election 2023, February, as said by the INEC, may not come to reality. But the president is saying that he's doing everything to make sure that the election holds. Is there, is there a chance that it's a third term somewhere? No, 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 no. Buhari, Buhari, not Buhari out of third term. Buhari cannot even, well, he has not even for, uh, finished this second term that is very, very, is very, I would say, where we have uh, a security pandemic. Well, and yes, I have a security pandemic. But security, and yes, security is sick. I said it everywhere that is, uh, when they want to pick the chief of, uh, when they want to pick uh, uh, sub, uh, police uh, IG, that is the person in his time, uh, uh, Shikarao, will be arrested or killed, right? When they pick Akali, thank God that it's everywhere, and I have a documentation to read that Shikarao days are numbered, right? I am saying all of this because without government involvement in any government, that government will fail. Nigerian government have not been taking profit serious. They believe that some profits are making prediction, permutation, or they are just doing some calculations. Us have gone beyond that. Either they like it or not. You are here, you, you video it, when I say that the only person who can take Joe, uh, uh, Trump out is if they pick Joe Biden. And I said it that Kamala or one other person is the one who can take over, uh, who can be the vice president. In Nigeria today, if care is not taking P APC, we lose 2023 election. If care is not taking 2023 election, we not come that time we are expecting it. If we are going this way, the government did not do the right thing now because our security needs support of America, UK, France. If they are still playing game with the security, hmm, we are still having this uh, security volcano, I will call it that way, right, or security hurricane, right, Nigeria will not witness that February election that INEC have stipulated, as INEC stipulated the date may not come to reality. That is number one. Number two, if the government, another Boko Haram is, another terrorist around the corner, which I have said earlier before now, I said that there will be uh, another um, Terrorist group that will come between Burkina Faso, uh, Niger, Mali, and Nigeria that will come to terrorize Nigeria. And some African countries are going to be in problems. I am telling you, Iswap, they are a very serious terrorist group. Boko Haram will be a thing of a past in Nigeria. Iswap and another, another terrorist group which will Emaciated from uh, um, X Men. We are taking X Men for joke. It's not joke. X Men are terrorists, so said by God. I stand by it and I can pound my heart that X Men are, 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 book, are a terrorist group. But this government does not realize that fact because they call them Fulani, Fulani. Not all Fulani are bad. And it will cause disintegration of this country if we are not careful. Economic hardship. Remembered, two years ago, I told you that dollar will run to 500 naira. Then dollar was still 300. Dollar is 500 naira now. Petrol, we are, we are talking about, we run to about 280, 300. Petrol. I am seeing economic hardship. I told you last year. I told you two times last year. I told you 2019 that you are going to see a pure water for 20 naira. Bread, you know, see bread of 15 naira. You are not going to be able to eat with 1,000 naira. The government, governors will not be able to pay 30,000 naira. So, gov from state governors, we, we shut down. Nigeria is on loan. Nigeria is in debt. State government will run into debt. Mark my words. 
if the government does not improve in security challenges that we are facing now, Nigeria as a one unity is shaking seriously. The iPod warnings, uh, I don't know, maybe a few weeks ago or a few days ago, is a serious signal to our economy trade. We have wrong, incompetent people that are associated to be a special advisor or special aide to Mr. President. Is Buhari older than the uh, Cameroon president? How old is Joy Biden? I was Buhari. So let's be very realistic. Wrong ends are ruling this nation, and they want to collapse the system. If the necessary authority did not act on time, the situation might go beyond our expectation. So said by the Lord Almighty. Okay, is this between, is this about APC or PDP or about Nigeria? Generally? We're not talking about APC or PDP at this moment. If we are talking about APC or PDP, a, a government is in place, which is APC government. Let them put their heads together and talk sense to themselves. 2023, APC will lose this election if they are going this way, I am telling you. Buni Reconciliation Team, they are doing very well. Asaraki Reconciliation Team are doing so well. Another governor, two governors are ready to leave APC, uh, PDP. You should get prepared. I talk about Ayande, I'm talking about Sanfara, and an Easter governor. Either Abia or uh, uh, Enugun, one of them will be touching, moving to APC. And going to APC is like putting heads, bad heads together to form a government. This may crack APC and break APC down. And moreover, I am warning APC now, if they try to go ahead with their convention, hmm, that will jeopardize the success of the party 2023. Okay. And meanwhile, Saraki effort will be frustrated in his reconciliation uh, 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 procedures. It will be totally frustrated. So PDP also have to put their house properly in order for them to be able to get exact results. Okay, let's go to the east right now. The eastern part of Nigeria used to be really, really peaceful. But so many things are happening there now. A lot of killings, a lot of uncertainties, a lot of insecurities. Thank, thank you so much. Let me first of all take it this way. I've won ahead of time. An Ambra election, the date is, is dicey. The date for the election is dicey. Because there will be so many problems that day. There will be explosive, there will be gunshot, there will be... There will be so many things. That's one. Two, Hope is Odema should leave the government seat. The, leave him more. The Hope is Odema of uh, Imo State. The Supreme Court should review that uh, 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 that judgment that brings Hope is Odema on that seat, and let Hope vacate that seat so that eastern part of the nation can have peace. The force of Igbo land, they are fighting Opus Odema. That's what is happening right now. I said they are fighting Opus Odema. It's one person that is causing this problem. I'm saying it as the Lord said. I'm not afraid. I'm saying what the Lord told me. Did he, did he tell you? And sitting on that seat, where is the problem coming from? Where is the source of the problem? It's not in most state. Don't you read your, your, uh, the news? You're a journalist. Do you want to start in Nemo State? Right? So I'm telling you that the source of that problem is when you have a wrong person at the seat. The, 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 the forefather of, Im of uh, Igbo's land are fighting injustice. That judgment is an injustice. So said the Lord of hosts. What can be done to all the problems that we have in Nigeria? Like, what exactly can be done? Is there a spiritual thing that can be done? It has to be... Thank, thank, thank you very much. I've spoken my own, as the Lord said to me. I'm not hiding anything. That power, that state of power, is being controlled by some elemental spirits and demonic forces. That's why you see that our government is not... We are not doing well. Because some of them have done wrong racial killings and so on and so forth. We need, Nigeria need fortified 
cleansing. Nigeria needs, we need, we need, we need divine attention. What the Lord has spoken to me is that we should declare 28, 29, 30, 1st of September, um, September 28, 29, 30 of September to 1st of October, right? Four days. As a very serious national prayers, both Christian and Muslims. We should use it to offer a, 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 offer a, a kind of a thanksgiving, a very big thanksgiving, so that we can make 2023, so that the country will not break. Nigeria is at the verge of breaking, so said by the Lord of hosts. Mm. And I'm talking as a prophet, I don't know anything about politics, that's what the Lord told me. Anybody can see it in another way, but that's what my Lord has told me is the solution. And a country without vision would perish. No, there are there are talks about people leaving Nigeria like Plan B and leaving Nigeria for other countries. Is there, is, is there going to be any point where you personally would probably think of relocating from Nigeria? Me, yeah, I can't relocate. This is my country. This is where I'm going to die. I'm not going to anywhere. I will stay here, make it in Nigeria, die in Nigeria, buried in Nigeria. That's all. I'm in Nigeria from Ekiti State. I'm an Ekiti man. I'm not a Lagosian. So I, I believe in the vision of the foreign founders of this country. I believe that Nigeria is one of the best countries in the whole world. Nigeria is better than America and any other ones. We have best, best in Nigeria, economy, economics best, security best, techni techni uh, technology, uh, whatever you may call it, journalism, uh, 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 marketing, any kind of Things you made, any field you may talk of, best footballer, you have it in Nigeria, anything, you have it in Nigeria. Nigeria is the best, best, best that we have. There is a power ruling our leaders until we fight it. And we have to appease to the spirit of people like Awulowo, Tafa Balewa. So that Nigeria can move forward, otherwise, Nigeria will break. How do we appease to their spirit? And what, Let's what do we that way. That is all. Let the other intelligent people. Take it up. It's deep. Don't let me go beyond that. It's very, very deep. We can't say more than we that. Have to we, we have to appease. We have to do something. We have, they have to, to, to pray. Don't worry. Let's leave it that way. Let's leave it this way. It's okay. I've used the word, and I can't go beyond that. So finally, Nigerians are saying that because the president mentioned something like he's not going for a third term, people are trying to say that he's doing this so that he can go for a third term. Buhari cannot rule beyond 2023. So he should not attempt to do it. He should not take the step. He's, not, he, he's a good man. He won't think about it. He's even tired now. Talk less of beyond 2023. You know what they got? 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah? You know how much he's going, how old he's going to be then? It's a lie. Forget it. It can't happen. It's not possible. Buhari is a man of honor. Buhari is a man of his words. Buhari fears God. Obasanjo, when you said he wants to go a third time, we are one of the people who came out and said, Obasanjo should not try it. It collapsed. Despite there's going to be constitutional review, electoral review, Nigeria still need beyond all of this. If the security problem is going this way, that is why this new chief of army staff should do what is right, should take a right step, because there are bigger challenges ahead of him. And all of all the services should work together as a very strong team. Meanwhile, I am seeing problem in NSA and DSS. That's all. That's all. And they should they should prosecute all the services, service, service, the, 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 the past services must be must be must be prosecuted. The government knows what they are doing. They are just playing with the uh, playing politics with the uh, our security uh, uh, situation, and the people who are doing that will be exposed. A lot of evidences about Buhari's government will be exposed, right? Before the villa attack, uh, chief of uh, staff attack, we have said it that villa will be attacked. That villa will be attacked under villa. So many things that is going to happen in Villa, even things that was going to happen in Villa. And it is not yet over. There are still some things that are going to come out of Buhari's government. And international community will fight Buhari's government if they are not careful. 
because we have not seen uh, 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 the end of this security is going to happen to a very prominent person that will shake Nigeria. Kidnapping, killings, honestly. So Nigeria needs to be very prayerful because churches, we will not be saved. We have not seen, we have not seen the beginning. We have just seen the tips of this security thing. We need, Nigeria needs prayers. We need prayers, so very serious prayers. That's what we need at this moment. And if the government could listen and take the rightful step, you know, before the NAF uh, crash, we said it here in this book. We said it. We said it. And look at it. Page 303. Right? You see it? That Air Force plane will crash. We said it, and we sent this book to the rencoters. He didn't list him. And I said, look, let us pray so that we don't see another land crashing. Land crashing. And the Nigerian Air Force have not yet, it's not yet over on any of their planes because their planes will be, they want to bring their planes down. Another plane of Nigeria Air Force wanted to, they want to bring it down. Prophet and intelligence department must work together. That's why I want to appeal to the government to round it up now that let us have intelligent department, spiritual intelligent department, in that DSS, DMI, or NIA. It will really help. It's very important. If you are a prophet, you come out to tell the government, see, on the one, see, this is going to happen. On the three, this is going to happen. Before one could compile this book, you know what it is? Since 1994. I'm the first to put together 10,000 prophetic book, uh, compendium. So it's a serious matter. It's a serious matter. I want to warn all African leaders that they should pray not to lose a sitting president. And um, another coup between now to next year in African country especially in the Francophone country. And uh, I want to warn the Nigerian government that they should be expecting a very serious protest. And the government must not sleep at ease because killing of police will be continuous and police killing the citizens will be continuous. And also killing of uh, many, uh, 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 soldiers will also be continued. So they have to be very, very watchful and taking over Bombing of uh, army bases will also be continued. So, but the protest, the government must not overlook it. A serious protest is coming against Buhari's government. They must watch on this.